Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa and today we are going to get messy fingers. We are making a cute little mini book. I'm really excited to share this with you. I promised you today would be a mixed media video and it really is. Let me just tell you what we're making today. It is my 28 days of love mini book. Sounds a bit cheesy, I know. It's basically a little positivity book that we are going to journal in each day. When I say journal, I'm not talking pages and pages. I'm talking even one sentence a day, if that's what you want. I'm going to show you how I made this book, um, but I wanted to tell you first more about it, what it's all about. The idea is I've written my goals in the front, um, that each day we are going to write down something good that has happened, no matter how small. The idea is then at the end of the month, you can flick through and see what a wonderful month it's been. It could even encourage you to up your game and actually make positive things happen and really make it a wonderful month, um, not just for you, but maybe for others as well. Send out extra happy mail, make a phone call if you're thinking of someone, just make other people feel special. And um, that's what February is all about. It is the month of love after all. I've really enjoyed making this book and um, I hope you enjoy this video. So I'm just starting the book now. I'm going to be using watercolour paper as my pages. Obviously you can use anything. You can use scrapbooking pages, um, card stock, you can use even printer paper if that's what you want. But I've decided, I'm really inspired by this month's kit. It's um, kind of like rainbow, well it is rainbow themed. And so I'm going with the bright colours of the rainbow. I've just been out food shopping in between and I thought it was the perfect time to just paint a load here and let them dry um, so I've got the first bit of my pages done I'm going to work on the next bit now and they can dry them whilst I work on the cover that's the exciting bit so these are dry I can see there's a little bit wet there And I'm just going to move these over so they can dry and now I'm moving on to the cover now I keep everything this is just some old packaging um, I do have a space between my two desks just down between me where I am and I slot um, packaging down there and I do reuse it so this is just it's not overly solid I've been able to fold it easy but it's just a little bit of grey packaging and this is going to be my cover I'm using Mod Podge um, this is absolutely wonderful it says here it's a water-based sealer glue and finish um, I'm using it as a glue today um, I use this on all kind of mixed media projects um, decoupage it's really good for as well I do sell it in my online shop so I will link it up before for you um, up below for you now I'm going to be covering my whole book in alphas this is a really good way to use up alphas leftovers but I actually had a huge um, clear out last year and I don't have masses left I don't actually use them too much these days to be honest I'm not huge into titles like I used to be so this for me is a really good way to use these up and and I am going to be covering my whole page in Mod Podge. I will show you actually. And I am going to stick the alphas to the Mod Podge. I'm going to cover the whole back page here. Um, I'm not going to have any particular order. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap around the outside. They're, they're not going to read anything. I'm just literally covering it up but I will be saving actually let me make sure that I save I want to call it 28 just so I don't accidentally use those up days I pop 28 days which is going to appear on the bottom here and the rest is just going to be used up I know alphabets um, alphas are supposed to be um, sticky but I'm using the Mod Podge just to really make sure they're securely stuck in place. I've been really really excited about making this project. I have made these books before 
um, and made one for my daughter's 13th birthday and bearing in mind she's going she's 19 that was quite a long time ago and I've made them as um gifts before as well like I said they're a really nice way of using up bits and pieces so here's a little update and they're all stuck on but I am going to go over with the Mod Podge as I really want to make sure they're stuck on nice and tight don't want to lose any once that's dry I'm then going to go over with some white paint see that one hasn't stuck on so well yeah I'm then just going to go over with white paint that Z really doesn't want to stick and when you're doing this just make sure you leave the space down the spine to bend it so the cover is white. It's not perfect and I'm fine with that because I am going to be adding some colour to that shortly. But um, I really made sure that the edges though were painted quite well. I'm just going to soak up here because I am eager to use these pages. Really pleased with how these have come out. So this is nice and dry now. And I've just used, um, stuck some paper from the kit on the inside. I will link up the kit for you below just so you can have a look. There's, I think there's about four left now. There are not many left. Um, now, obviously, I've got 28 days and I've also got 2019. I want to paint the cover, but I want to make sure that these are left. Um, they need to stand out against everything else. This is the bit I've been mostly looking forward to. Right, I've got a whole load of loveliness here. I've got brushos and I've also got these. Now these were discontinued absolutely years ago. We've got tattered angels, glimmer glazes. I've got loads of those. And we've also got tattered angels, glimmer glam. Um, I am gonna use them. Um, despite them not being able to be bought anymore. I really want to use them on here. And I've also got some Cosmic Shimmer Shakers as well. So we are just going to have so much fun. Let's work on some of the brushos to start with. Um, nice clean paintbrush there, as you can see. Um, you just need the tiniest amount of these. A lot goes, or a little goes a long way, as you can see. Let's get change the colour up. I might need to change my water. Uh, let's add some of the yellow. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I just want this to be super, super colourful. I am going to grab some more water. I use these little glass tea light holders um, from Ikea. I've had them probably for about 15 years. And they're really, really good for this kind of thing. Right, I've got a lime here as well. Let's give the lime a go. Oh, that's nice. Let's make this so colourful. So just plaster that on. Add a little bit at the top there. Let's leave a green in there. What else have we got? Let's have a look at the turquoise. And these um brushos like I said a lot goes or a little goes a long way but they're really cheap as well I will link these up to where I bought them we did have some in a kit oh there's the word fun there I should have let's clean that up a little bit I might do that one in gold that would be quite nice oh, I like these when they're watered down a little bit the colors are really changing now can you see as it's kind of like diluted a little bit you a little close-up of how that's looking isn't that amazing and then I'm gonna go on to the next one
little tip try and cover up if you've got wet ink I've just smudged mine a little bit try and cover it up so you don't smudge it with your hand up bits and pieces left over from the kit stickers from this month and last month I'm using up the planner stickers as well like I said I will link up everything below for you it's now ready to put the book together I'm just finishing I've dried all that I'm finishing the inner pages I've just gone round with the gold pen it actually feels really sturdy it's almost got like a leather feeling to it it's really quite bizarre Let's add a little bit of color yeah it feels really solid my pages are lovely and colourful and they are ready to go in there. I'm just deciding how to add them. I think I'm going to use the ribbon from the kit and I will hold them. I'm just using my big bite to add the holes. I love this thing. I use it so often. And then I'm just going to add the ribbon that was in the kit as well. And then I'm just going to cut... I'm going to use these from the kit. This is the to-do kit. I think I'll have what my intentions are for this book on the inside cover. I'm ready for the flick through. So we've got the little ribbon there that holds it all together. And we've got 2019, 28 days. So I've written myself my goals for this book, my intentions. It's like a little promise to myself. Goals each, write each day something good that has happened, no matter how small. Then after the 20 days, look back and see all the good stuff that has happened. This is going to be an amazing month. I will make good things happen for myself and others. 2019 is my year. So then each day I'm just going to go through and just jot something down. Even if it's just meant that I've gone for a walk or that I've slept well, something positive for each day is going to go in here no matter how small I haven't done 28 day or pages purely because there may some days be um, that's going to be my Valentine's page by the way um, yeah um, I forgot what I was going to say um, yeah because some days there might just be a sentence or two so um, and some days I might want to add a photo I'm just going to leave it open and see what takes my fancy and then we've got fun on the back I really hope you've enjoyed that. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm really pleased with how this turned out. Um, please let me know if you plan on joining in. You don't obviously have to make something like this. You could even use a notepad. Speaking of which, have you been doing the Do What You Love Challenge? I know quite a few of you have. I've had lots of you message me and tag me in on Instagram. On Instagram, by the way, it's Lollipop Box Club. Um, so do follow. There's lots of fun things going on. The challenge is working out really well for me. And I am keeping up to date with it, which I'm really pleased about. If you have no idea what I'm on about, I'll link up the video below. It's something that anyone can do. And um, I've been following along each day and it's really fun to do and I plan to do the same this new month um, and um, just see at the end what a wonderful month February has been. 
So you don't necessarily need to make one of these, you can just keep a little notepad to keep it on your desk, keep it on the side, keep it next to your bed, so it reminds you to write in it every day. Thank you so much for watching today. Please leave a comment and let me know if you plan to do something like this. I would love to know. Let me know if this month, February, is a special month for you. Do you celebrate it? Do you do anything at all? Let me know. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.